Sports View London, Boxing News from the capital city, talking to uh, Marco McCulloch. Uh, a good win at the weekend in Scotland uh, to get the confidence back. Yes, it was indeed. That's the confidence well and truly back. I've uh, done everything right, so straight back in the camp yesterday um, for the next one, John Slowey. It's going to be a real, real good fight for me and a real good um, opponent. Uh, Kovac to fight fully behind you then after uh, Saturday or the, the weekend's victory? Uh, it, was, uh, it didn't really do much damage to me. Uh, I know uh, I didn't make a weight right. There was, there was problems before the, the fight. I shouldn't have maybe took the fight. So uh, it hasn't really done much damage. So I'm straight back into it again and I'm hoping to get a good win of John Slowe. So pl- plenty of lessons learned from that defeat anyway and perhaps the, the kind of lessons that will stand you in good stead going forward? Yes, I'm just glad it sort of happened now rather than later and maybe bigger title fights and things. It was uh, stupid of me, but now I've built a team uh, around me. I've got a good team now for this fight and I'll, I'll be ready for it from now on. The last time you fought in the waterfront hall was against Parlaghi and that was, that was quite a spectacular fight. Is it going to be more of the same this time uh, on the 20th of November? It's going to be a different fight. Um, this is the first time I've really fought a boxer, especially South Pole boxers, nice, nice smart boxers. So I used to have fighting brawlers and Prologi came in for a war. It's going to be completely different, um, but I think his style suits me a lot better. And uh, as we said before, it's a sort of crossroads for perhaps both of you, so there's, there's a lot on the line, as it were. That makes it more interesting. He has to come to win as well, and he's not scared of travel. He was in Italy for the European last last fight, so he's not scared of travel, and he's coming over with a bit of support behind him. So it makes, it makes things a lot interesting, but I just think I'm too big and strong for him, and I'll be able to bully him. Obviously, it's good to get back home and, and fight in front of your own fans after being on the road uh, for the last two or three fights. It's been a long year, and I haven't really had a good fight at home, so this is, this is a good could um, fight for me in the waterfront close to the home. I'll, I'll have a, a right lot of support here. And obviously, if all goes well and you, you get the win, it sets up quite a, a big 2016. Then there's a lot of talk about going for titles and things like that. It makes things a lot more interesting. So they'll have a good Christmas and then straight back into it. And who knows what, what the future has for it? Any particular names in mind for 2016, or is it just a matter of seeing how it goes between now and then? Yeah. There's come, I think, Joyce Warner maybe owns that, but and the British Welsh as well. So there's two, two titles I'd be willing to take, jump the fights. Margot, thanks very much. Thanks.